so I bought this Samsung Smart TV uh, a couple of years ago and it did not come with a wireless network adapter. I'm pretty sure they, they exist but they are expensive as hell. So the trick to connecting the Samsung Smart TV to a wireless network is basically an old laptop. If you don't have one lying around, you can buy it, you can buy you can buy one for about twenty thirty dollars probably. The only requirement is to have a wireless network adapter, so a wireless connectivity. So how did I do it? Stay tuned, and I'll show you. It's pretty easy. I want to show you a couple of other things here. This is the actual laptop that I'm using. It's a old compact. So it's basically HP Compaq NX6110. It's a, a very, very old laptop. I'm running Windows XP on it. And as you can see, it has been connected for the past 15 days to my wireless network. It sent 17 gigabytes of data and it has received 38 gigabytes or 38.7 gigabytes of data, which is, you know, a lot. Now, how to configure the laptop so that it can become a wireless network adapter? This part is actually pretty easy. You go to your network, so, okay, you go to your control panel, you could actually go to, um, you could use a shortcut, but let's do it. Uh, nice and slow so you press on start go to control panel over here you will have something called network connections double click on it this is the actual LAN cable port so this guy here and uh, this is where you will plug in your cable I will show you that later and this is the wireless network now I connected this to my wireless network as you can see but now just for the purpose of demonstration I will disconnect and I will show you how to do it from scratch so view wireless networks this is my wireless network called Utopia I'm going to disconnect now bye bye So here it is, this is my wireless network. And now before we actually do this, we need to configure a couple of things in advance. So the wireless network has to be shared with the physical cable connection. So um, you will right click on it and click properties and under advanced, you have something called internet connection sharing. Allow other u network users to connect through this computer's internet connection. You press yes. Now, allow other network users to control or disable the shared network internet connection. No, I don't want to allow anyone to disable this connection. Here, you're gonna press OK. This is called internet connection sharing. It's a very old functionality used by Windows XP and other operating systems. Even I think Windows 98 had it. That's pretty much everything. Over here, under the local area connection, if I if I uh, right click on it and press properties, and if I go under internet protocol TCP IP, you will see that this network adapter has now received this IP address. This has been done manually. This has been done automatically by the uh, Windows itself. Now, what remains is just to plug a network cable here into this port and connect it to the television. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's see how it works. So this is where I plug my cable into my television. So my UTP cable. And now this cable has to be plugged into the laptop itself. So, here, like this. Now, let me just open the laptop so you can see what's going on. 
Now, just for demonstration purposes, let's try to open YouTube or Netflix or whatever while the TV is not connected to the cable to my laptop, basically. So, try to connect and says you're not connected to the network. Go to network settings and connect to internet or to enjoy smart hub. You go to network status and it says no IP address. Okay, well, that's pretty much understandable. So, let's connect it and let's see what's going on. So, I'm going to connect the cable now, just so you can see what happens. Okay, I've got some activity. Now, the television should receive an IP address in the range of 192.168.0. something because this network adapter here, the local area connection, has an IP address of 192.168.0.1, so this one should be somewhere in that range. So, 0. Dot, uh, and then a number from 1 to 254 probably going to be in the range of 192.168.0.100 or 101 or something like this, I don't know. Uh, let's try again, I'm clicking on YouTube and I'm actually in. I didn't even get the network status so it obviously automatically connected the television, gave it an IP address and boom, I'm in. Well, this was very easy as you can see nothing too difficult so if you plan on using a laptop as a wireless network adapter for your TV for longer periods of time you will probably want to close the lid and usually when you close the lid what happens is laptop turns itself turns itself off so you lose the network connectivity you lose everything now I've configured my laptop not to switch off even when I close the lid. Where do you do it in Windows XP? Well, start, control panel, and here you have the power options. Um, under power options, you have here. So when, when the laptop is plugged into the uh, wall charger, turn off the monitor after 15 minutes, hard disk after 30 minutes, system standby, never. So. We should configure this never to go into standby and then also when i close the lid of my portable computer do nothing so this is very important so that was it hope you enjoyed the video also stay tuned for my next one where i will be talking about how to make your own dropbox replacement with the help of raspberry pi i'll be installing linux hooking up an external hard drive and yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty cool so stay tuned for that one um, comment if you have any questions and uh, make sure to subscribe in order to get notified about my next video. So thank you for watching and have a nice day.